This is obviously an unusually difficult budget year, and um, you know school districts across the state are um, you know just struggling to even achieve flat funding in the first place. Um, not only have revenues fallen off the um, cliff for the state government, but uh, every local government has seen property tax uh, uh, collections go down, fees um, uh, that normally make up a decent portion of the budget aren't uh, coming in, and uh, school districts are crunched. Um, but they've been crunched for a long time because of the federal shortfall um, for special education specifically. And so, you know, I really take from this uh, visit a renewed commitment to go back to Washington and try to press for uh, more funding for special education. Now, um, the stimulus bill, as we talked a little bit about today, does include uh, new funding uh, for the IDEA account, um, some temporary emergency relief for school districts. And so part of the reason that Danbury is not going to have to um, make drastic cuts to its education budget is because of the stimulus funds that flow through the state and directly to towns for uh, education. Um, but, uh, you know, we, we have to continue the drumbeat that Property taxes um, are one of the worst ways to fund government in general and one of the most unfair ways to fund education. Um, property taxes have nothing to do with your ability to pay. It taxes a senior on a fixed income um, uh, on the same basis that it taxes uh, a family with two incomes. Uh, and so we're going to need ultimately in the state to really shift away from a um, education funding system that is reliant on the property tax uh, and find a much more fair way of, of doing Doing things in the short term, though, um, we've got to try to continue to find federal funds that help supplement these school budgets.